Hey guys, this is your week's news. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, I'm here with your KSA schedule. Look at that schedule wall. Friday, May 5th, 7th, 8th grade will be taking the survey and reading A. Let's see. Monday, May 8th, we're going to be taking reading B. Tuesday, May 9th, 7th, 8th grade will be taking reading I mean, math A and B. Let's see. Wednesday, May 10th, 7th grade is going to be taking science. That'll be the last test for 7th grade. Wednesday, May 10th, 8th grade will be taking social studies. And Thursday, May 11th, 8th grade is going to be taking editing and mechanics. And then on Friday, May 12th, 8th grade is going to be taking on-demand writing. Um, yeah, so, um, so you all have to have a positive attitude to take this test. Mm -hmm. And you just have to give the effort. I don't know. Yeah, you just have to have a good attitude. Mm -hmm. So And make sure your behavior is good and don't get in trouble. But also... <laughs> You have to be present and at school to take this test. Hey, I've been looking for that. This week's card reading winner is... Hilder Tejada. Congratulations, Hilder. You are the card reading winner. So here's your prize. What book are you currently reading? Uh, the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Who's your favorite author? Rick Barton. And what is your favorite book? That's hard to say. I like them all. Like. I don't know, like, maybe the first Percy Jackson book. Good choice. If you want to get candy, make sure to be reading. Hey, you'll see you, miss. We're here with Maylee and Scout Reese for Trivia of the Week. All right, we got a few questions for you. Whoever can get two out of three wins. Okay, first question. How many letters are in the alphabet? 26. 26. That was Scout. What the crap? Next question. Who is supposedly coming out with the album that performed at Coachella last night? Um, what's it? Frank Ocean. That was Maley. What? Good job. The last <laughs> question. What is 12 squared? Oh, 20, 144. 144. What? That was Maley. Yeah. Good job, Maley. Good job. Darling, I'm so sick of school. How many more school days left until the end? Luckily, we got a whopping 19 days before school is out. That makes me so relieved. All right, we are here with Briley Edge, your very own book recommendation winner. She got five stars for this book. Ask so, her a few questions. All right. So what was the genre book that you wrote about? Fantasy. Okay, and what was the description of the book? Or what did you like about the book? Um, it was interesting, and it had a good plot twist. Okay. Sounds cool. Well, you just won yourself a Kit Kat. Thanks. I'm here with Lila Hall. She's gonna be doing guess the lyric. All right, here goes nothing. The start of nothing. I had no chance to prepare. I couldn't see you coming. That was correct. That was your guess the song lyric of the week. If you guys didn't know, we post a weekly YouTube video, and we're gonna read y'all our stats from last month. We had five new subscribers, 1,919 total views, 9,254 minutes, which equals 154 hours. So make sure y'all like and subscribe. <laughs> I can't wait to run my dirt bike this weekend. Can you tell me what it's going to be like? Sure. Friday is going to be a low of 54 and a high of 69. Saturday, a low of 43 and a high of 57. I can't ride. You need to change it right now. I can't, I can't. ride. Do something. And Sunday is a low of 37 and a high of 53. No! I'm sorry. No. How does it feel a little lost? Well, we are in the lost and found. I guess we found the right spot to find our lost items. Yeah. You can come here in the office and find anything that you've lost, like your binders, any miscellaneous things, water bottles, and there's lunch boxes and coats over here. Oh, hey, I lost that a year ago. What? What the heck? Come get your lost stuff, guys. Emma, can you please tell me a joke that'll just brighten my day up? Of course, Emma. Which is faster, hot or cold? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, what is it? Hot, because you can catch a cold. Oh, what a good joke. I'm here with eighth grade social study teacher, Mr. Kretz. He is indeed your teacher of the week. All right, we got a few questions for you. Okay. 
first question, what did you do if you were not a teacher? I don't know. I mean, never, at least in over a decade, never really considered anything other than being a teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would ever do anything else, personally. Mm -hmm. All right. Next question. What are your hobbies? Hobbies? Uh, uh, reading. I like to read a lot. Uh, play chess. And just hanging around. Outside stuff. Typical things. Uh, and also, how long have you been a teacher for? This is uh, going on 10 years now. Okay. 10 years, yeah. That's your Teacher of the Week. Hey guys, we're here with your Student of the Week, Raiden Klein. So we have some questions to ask you. What is your favorite food? Uh, Mexican. Mexican? Okay. All right, reasonable. What's your favorite color? Black. Okay, and um, what are your favorite hobbies? <laughs> Working out. Reasonable, respectable. Okay. All right. That was your student of the week. Guys, this is y'all's weekly reminder that God is always with y'all. Psalms chapter 23, verse 4 says, Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger. That is y'all's Bible verse of the week. Hey guys, we're here for your drawing competition of the week, and this is Easton Smith and JJ Pacheco. So, here we go. Okay, pause it right there. Yo. Okay, guys, we're here with your results. Easton, to move out of the way so they can see yeah, JJ's okay. drawing. Uh, um, uh, yeah, this is a really, really tough one. I'm going to have to go with JJ. <laughs> I'll go JJ, too, on that one, too. Okay, JJ Pacheco is your winner. Good job, guys. Good job, JJ. Thank you. Miss Melinda, your staff member of the week. Yay! So what do you do here at Ohio County Middle School? Well, I'm in the office, so I answer the telephone. I take uh, best notes. Uh, I assist in different areas. I sometimes help out with the nurse a little bit when she's not available, I help out with attendance a little bit, and just take care of students checking in and out, and just little odd things that take place in the office. And what's your favorite thing about your job? Getting to see all the different people. I like seeing everybody. Yeah, and what do you do outside of school? Well, I don't have a lot of activities after school, um, mainly just spend time with my family yeah okay that is your staff member of the week hey guys we're here with your fun facts of the week so did you know all three john adams thomas jefferson and james monroe all died on july 4th i mean i love independence but they took it really hard um did you know the bats are the only man that can fly but personally let's all agree that batman can't fly and he's a human also, the tallest man ever recorded was American giant Robert Waldo, who stood 8 feet 11 inches. Shaq can't even guard that. <laughs> so, the largest animal on Earth is the blue whale, and its heart is around 5 feet long and weighs 400 pounds. A polar bear's skin is not like our skin color. It's actually black, and they have and their fur isn't white. It's see-through, so when the light reflects on it, it makes it makes it white. I've been drawing polar bears white this whole time. What? Oh yep, my goodness! Yep, I got it all wrong. Dang These it. were your fun facts of the week. Hey guys, me and Jeremy are gonna be telling you how the NBA playoff standings. In the Eastern Conference, number one Milwaukee and number eight Miami are tied one to one. Number four Cleveland and number five New York are tied one to one. Number three, Philadelphia, and number six, Brooklyn, where Philadelphia is winning 2-0. And number two, Boston, and number seven, Atlanta, Boston is up 2-0. In the Western Conference, the Nuggets are leading the Timberwolves 2-0. The Phoenix Suns are tied with the Los Angeles Clippers 1-1. The Sacramento Kings are leading the Golden State Warriors 2-0. And the Memphis Grizzlies are tied 1-1 with the Los Angeles Lakers. That is your NBA standings. Hey, Miss Kennedy. Hey. What's this new class? Well, we are actually going to offer choir at the middle school. So in addition to band, you will now have the option of choosing choir. So we're going to have a sign up in the front office. Um, you can just come down, put your name on that paper, and that's going to be how you sign up for choir. Hmm. Do they have a shot at choir? Honestly, there's 
no auditions. So <laughs> you, if you sign up, you can take the class. If you love singing, there's going to be a variety of songs sung, maybe something similar to that. I know um, there is. I'm special. <laughs> and throughout the year, you could even get better. So. That was a really good news for this week. I totally agree. Make sure you all come back for next week for an even better news.